my dad's dying. I've moved back to Michigan um, and I'm working on stuff. That sounds really grim. So about three months ago, I made a video telling you guys that uh, I had to stop making my videos so that I could uh, do some work and make some money. And then uh, a few days into that, I got a message from my mom while I'm at work. Call me, I've got something I need to talk to you about. It's right after lunchtime, so no one's there yet. I leave uh, the building, uh, go on like a little phone call break, and uh, she tells me, your dad's got uh, ALS. He just got diagnosed with this disease. And if you're not familiar with ALS, it's essentially um, a fatal disease that over time slowly um, makes your muscles stop working. Um, so yeah, essentially my mom had to tell me that, hey, your dad is um, dying. So I go back to work, let it process. The next day, um, my grandma messaged me this time. So I call her, same time of day, lunch break and everything. They're like, we know you're um, looking into potentially moving back to Michigan this year sometime, which was true. Keep in mind, when I'm living in LA here, I'm living with my then girlfriend. I've got an apartment. I've got my own belongings. It's basically, I have a life in California. And they say, hey, since your dad uh, just got this diagnosis, We'll help you basically reset your life if you want to come back now. So I said, okay. And I got back thinking that, well, that'll be perfect. I don't really have anything going on in Michigan. I'll have plenty of time to focus on these videos, focus on making music, and really just hit the ground running when I get back. But now it's been like three months since I've been back and I've really struggled to um, Get the get the engine running again. As much as I thought I'd be able to get back in Michigan, get things back on track, it just really hasn't happened yet. Um, I, I think as much as I think I'm fine, um, it's taken a while for my brain to really wrap itself around all this new information, my my new life, the the fact that um, you know. So yeah, I just wanted to make this quick update video for you guys uh, to let you know that I'm not dead. Um, I'm still working on stuff, not as quickly as I had originally hoped once I got out here, but um, you know, when you step back and look at it, my brain has definitely been dealing with a lot lately, so I'm giving myself a little leeway. So what I've been working on lately is time management, I guess. Um, so what do I have coming up? Um, I've, I've been racking my brain on how to make these videos better and more engaging. I want to do some tutorials. Um, I'm working on some music with my friend Jeremy and some other music with my friend Brad and working on some videos with my friend Ben and my friend Garrett. And this weekend I'll be composing music for a short film for the 48 hour film project. If you don't know what that is, um, it's basically a nationwide, maybe even a worldwide competition. Um, but I know for sure a nationwide competition where everyone gets into little groups and makes a film in 48 hours. I will be on the team and I'll be in charge of composing music. Um, so this Saturday I think it starts and then it ends Sunday. Hopefully I'll be able to get some footage and uh, a little behind the scenes of how that process goes. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything that's going to happen with that. And I really don't think there's much else to say here. Um, real excited to get back to it, and I think I'm almost there. Just give me a little more time, and uh, I'll be making these videos on a more regular, consistent schedule soon. Um, I don't know how many days per week. I'm gonna hopefully do more than one video per week, but right now I'm kinda pacing myself, letting it kinda come back a little naturally instead of forcing it, because no one wants a uh, forced video. So thanks for bearing with me. Um, thank you guys for the support. Um, and I will see you guys soon. All right. See you guys later.